You do not need to watch the Weather Channel to know there's a storm a brewing. Dr. Albert Moeller, one of the finest minds we have in evangelical Christianity, is persuaded that Christians could very soon be losing religious liberties. This from his new book, a quote from a long time ago, there are ideas which have gained influence in some parts of our society, particularly in some important and sophisticated areas that are opposed to religious freedom and freedom in general. In some areas, there are some people that have espoused a hostility to religion that must be recognized for what it is and expressly countered. Attorney General Edmund Meese Kirka about 1987? No wonder why we are seeing so many radical ideas coming into full bloom. The seeds were planted decades ago, and now it appears they are ready to go to harvest. Case in point, another social observer, Supreme Court Justice Samuel Alito, recently speaking at a banquet in New Jersey, because I can't think of a better place to speak at a banquet than New Jersey. He said the very same thing Al Mohler and Edmund Meese said. Uh, here's the details from his speech. Justice Alito repeated the words he had written in his own dissent in the Obergfell case legalizing homosexual, quotation mark, marriage, end quote, telling the group that he suspected the decision would be used to vilify those who disagree and treat them as bigots. We are seeing this is coming to pass. Remember that fateful decision? The Supreme Court justices asked the attorneys, how are we going to work this out with redefining marriage and religious liberty? And they confessed, well, we're going to have to work through that, and there could be some casualties. I'll say more from Justice Alito. He then referenced a famed Bob Dylan song lyric. You don't need to be a weatherman to know which way the wind is a blow, and a wind is picking up that is hostile to those with traditional moral beliefs. Now, I'm no weatherman, and I don't play one on TV. I don't even watch weathermen on TV, which is a bit of a source of contention in my marriage. But I would say we're looking at some straight winds here. More from the Supreme Court Justice. We are likely to see pitched battles in courts and Congress, state legislators, and town halls, but the most important fight is for the hearts and minds of our fellow Americans. It is up to all of us to evangelize our fellow Americans. Samuel, take the slide down, please. End quote from Justice Samuel Alito. It is up to you and me to evangelize the world. More than that, it is a commandment. And here at Wretched, we are increasingly burdened to quickly reach as many people as we can while there is still time. I'm someone who doesn't necessarily disbelieve in God, but I suffered from sexual assault and there's no way that he could ever love me. It's ultimately a leap of faith into this paradoxical world, and I can't do that because I simply do not have faith. I yeah. do not believe. And we have to follow the one true religion to yeah. get to God, which one true religion? Do we even care? Will we care to the Jesus!
Firstly, I'd like to say I appreciate you coming out. Thank you for what you do. You're being very bold. I feel like you're preaching the good news, oh, so thanks, keep it up. I really appreciate it. You know it. what? Thank you for that. Thanks. That's very kind of you. That's nice. Some people pejoratively call these kids snowflakes. We do not see them that way at all. These kids are hurting and these kids are lost and the adults on the campuses are doing nothing to help them. Check out this headline. Faculty Guide states, make class a safe space with Oops, ouch method. That's right. This is what university professors, psychologists, psychiatrists, social experts have determined is the best way to help a hurting human being. What is the oops, ouch method? A University of Arizona classroom dialogue guide encourages professor to use the Oops, ouch method, where students who are offended in class say, ouch, and the offender responds with, oops, that's it. That, that's what they got to help hurting kids. Yes, it would be easy to mock the students, but I lay the blame of this banality squarely at the feet of the adults. It is the university professors, the sociologists and psychologists who are creating programs to help hurting kids cope. And these kids are hurting. Take a look at this young student. Here's a fellow who has spent tens of thousands of dollars transitioning to become a Martian. Where would this fellow get this image? A science fiction movie. We've never seen a Martian because there are no Martians. And yet this young man wants to transition into becoming a fictitious Martian because he doesn't feel like a human. I'm sorry. This is nothing short of mental illness. These are people who are struggling. Their thinking is completely discombobulated. And university staffs are offering ouch oops programs. Christian, we've got the solution for their pain for their suffering, and for their eternity. We would rather respond with something a little more helpful than oops, ouch. We would like to rescue the perishing. If you do not know how to help somebody who is struggling with emotional issues due to infertility, sexual abuse, miscarriage, self-harm, you will if you get tried by biblical counseling too.